We call this area Kai Hayadle, Shimmering Waters. This is our home. Just like it's the home to the deer, the frogs, and the panther, this is our home. This is the number one cause of death, right? Vehicle collision is number one. In the last two weeks, we have three. We're going to reach a threshold, or maybe we're already there for this little piece of land that's left for them. Florida Panthers once roamed the entire southeast, now mostly confined to just a small region along the Gulf of Mexico. These animals are like ghosts. It's so hard to show the story. And you have to show people to create that connection and that love. Damn. This morning, we're learning about a new bill that would add three major toll highways running through some of our most undeveloped areas in Florida. There's only so many pieces of unspoiled paradise left. It's been before my lifetime since the last female panther was documented north of the river. There's some nice tracks. If we can show the world who that panther is, that's going to be the spark to save this whole corridor. Now we've got a category five. The only population of Florida Panthers occurs right where this hurricane is going to come through. There's so much disappointment. Then there's this image of hope. If a big python gets me, will you come rescue me? I'll film it. <laughs> the animals, they don't see these imaginary lines. They're trying to get to the areas that they knew. What this group's ultimately doing is deciding the future of wild Florida. To have new generations of panthers being born here who bring the system back into balance. This is it. This is nature's last stand. Somehow it's still here, like a seed waiting to be replanted. <laughs> the panther is showing us that it's not too late. There's no limit to the balance that we can bring back across this entire continent. <laughs>